Welcome to Cake Playground, where it's all about the fun. This is a beginner's lesson on how to fill and frost a cake. You're going to start off by placing your cake on the cake round that fits the size of your cake and a slightly larger cake round. Put both on top of a turntable for cake decorating. In this example, we're starting off with buttercream icing. So put a sizable amount of icing onto the bottom layer and you're going to spread it using the edge of the spatula. Notice I'm going the opposite direction with the turntable and pulling the spatula toward me using the edge of the spatula to smooth the icing. Try to get it as close to the edge as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. In order to get the frosting level, I'm using the edge of the spatula, pulling across and around the frosting and turning the turntable. Notice here that I'm not scraping against the cake when I need to remove frosting from my spatula. I scrape it in the bowl so that the crumbs stay in the bowl. To stack the next layer and all the subsequent layers, use cake rounds to move your cake around. It makes it easier. So slide your cake to the edge of your cake round, put it on the edge of your bottom layer, slide the cake off, and slide the cake round out. It helps to keep the cakes from breaking. After I add each layer, I slightly press down the top with my hand, and then to make sure the sides are straight, I use my palms and my hand and my fingertips to make sure the edges are straight. Then you can use your spatula to smooth out the buttercream that has come out through the layer and remove it. The first layer of frosting is called the crumb coat. It's called that because it seals in the crumbs and keeps them from showing in your final cake. So dust off your surface of excess crumbs and then put a sizable amount a frosting on the top of your cake. Now you're going to push the frosting down all the way to where the cake board's at. Now you're only going to be working in small little increments and then working around the cake. As you work around the cake, you also want to press the frosting in between the two layers so you have a nice even fit between the two layers and no gaps show. So continue around the cake until the cake is completely covered with frosting. You don't really have to worry at this point if it looks shaggy like this because we're going to be removing the excess frosting. We're going to start by removing the excess frosting from the top of the cake. Pull toward yourself with the edge of the spatula. Turn the turntable the opposite direction. The goal is to have a level top and level sides. It doesn't really matter that cake is showing through at this point. As you remove the frosting, make sure that you're using a separate bowl away from your original bowl. You don't want the cake crumbs to contaminate your original clean frosting. Once the top is even and the excess frosting has been removed, we're going to work now on the sides of the cake. You're going to use your spatula Hold it perpendicular to the cake all the way down to the cake board and use the edge of the spatula to pull the frosting off. It doesn't matter that there's cake showing through at this point. It just matters that the sides are straight. When the sides are smooth, move on to smoothing the edge of the cake. Pull in from the edge into the center with the side of your spatula lightly and when it's smooth, you're going to place it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. If you're using fondant, you stop at the crumb coat stage. If you're doing a buttercream cake, you're going to add a final coat. Start with a large amount of frosting on the top. Work your way down. Make sure no cake shows through. If cake shows through, add some more frosting. You're going to work around the edge of the cake with a perpendicular spatula in small sections, just like we did before with the crumb coat. Just make sure no cake shows through. You notice here it's pretty thick to make sure no cake shows through. And continue around the cake. After the cake is completely covered with frosting, we're going to smooth out the cake. Start on the top. We're not really removing frosting this time. We're trying to smooth it so it looks really, really glossy and smooth. Use the edge of your spatula, 
work in the opposite direction as your turntable. Now you don't have to be too particular because you usually have something sitting on top, either borders or another cake. So keep that in mind with your frosting so you don't have to get too hung up in perfectionism. Now we're going to smooth the sides with the edge of the spatula just like we did before. So I'll go around the cake with the edge of the spatula and smooth. I notice here I had some cake showing through, so I'm going to apply a little bit more frosting and smooth it into the rest of the frosting because you don't want any cake showing through. That'd be bad news. So when your sides are completely smooth, next you can move on to smoothing the edges. Just like we did before, pull in the edges into the center and then use your spatula to smooth. Now we're going to do one final step called the hot knife method for smoothing the cake. So what I've done here is have super hot water in that cup there. My spatula has been sitting in there getting really, really hot. So I'm running this hot spatula around the edge of the cake and it essentially melts the frosting to make it more smooth. Make sure that you wipe off any water before you apply the hot spatula to the cake. And this just gives a really smooth, even frosting to the cake. And there you have it. A fully frosted cake. Now you can go on here and decorate. Check out CakePlayground.com for some decorations for your cake and other lessons. At Cake Playground, it's all about the fun.